Hey guys, Josh here for Argonaut Wine and Liquor. Uh, we're just off site today. With, I'm joined by Trevor. We're doing another Whiskey Wednesday. Hey guys. Uh, today we're starting with a couple of uh, our kind of favorite daily drinker scotches, blended scotches, and then moving on to um, a private cast selection that we did with um, Oknagi that's just kind of something special and different we wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, scotch, you know, we're all um, scotch drinkers as well as, as bourbon lovers, and scotch is great, but it can get expensive, but it doesn't have to be. You can get some, some quality scotches if you go the blended route. We've talked about it before, just because it's a blended scotch doesn't automatically make it worse than single malts, especially if you're drinking things like Monkey Shoulder and Naked Grouse that are a blend of all single malts. Right. So yeah, um, we're gonna start with the monkey shoulder. Uh, this is a blend of Speyside single malts. Um, great intro to scotch if somebody wants to dip their toe in because of price point and flavor profile. Very easy drinking. No smoke, so nothing that's gonna offend anybody. Yeah, absolutely. You get like on the nose, really nice like dried fruits. Yeah, I get like uh, an apple. Yeah. yeah, and usually, usually when you get a dry fruit note, there's like a cinnamon or spice note that goes along with it. There really isn't in this one, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I get like all malt and and like dry fruit and vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Butter smooth. I mean, mm -hmm. just easy, easy drinking. If there's such a thing as a sessionable scotch, this would be it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good descriptor. I mean, yeah, it just. Yeah. No burn going down, super easy drinking. I mean, you could crush half a bottle of that and not really know it. Yeah, fantastic yeah. stuff. And like I said, a great start if somebody wants to, to try scotch yeah. for the first time. And like you said, not expensive. I mean, the, the monkey shoulder, right now we have it on sale for $27.99. So to get something you know that quality under 30 bucks is, is really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so moving on. So next we got Naked Grouse. Naked Grouse is a blend of Highland single malts um, that are finished in sherry casks. Um, so, you know, you're going to get that spice malt, but you're going to get some more of those dark fruits, some of that spice. Trevor, you said this is your um, kind of daily blender, yeah, you know, absolutely. make cocktails type thing with it. Yeah, that one's a, a staple in my house for sure. Another great price point on sale for $27.99. Um, very easy drinking, and if you like the sherry cask influence, man, definitely get it on the nose. I mean, really it screams on the nose. like dark fruits, cherries, yeah. Again, super easy drinking. It's kind of like a lighter Macallan, which mm -hmm. it's owned by the same company as Macallan, and I believe Macallan is part of the, the blend in there as well, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that it's got that influence for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got like an interesting, like on the sides of my tongue, a little bit of a tingle that, uh, I don't know what exactly that's coming from, but it was uh, super easy drinking, like you said, smooth, um, it's got, you know, I've talked about this before, and in sherry casks, when you get that influence, it either goes nutty or it goes red fruity, and to me, this is big red fruits, For sure. you don't get that nutty earthiness that you can with some sherry casks, this is definitely the sweeter red fruit end of, of sherry casks. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like I said, an, an everyday option around here, so really a good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This last one is cool. Um, it's from the uh, Lost Distillery. If you're not familiar with Lost Distillery, what they do is create recipes from distilleries that are no longer around um, in Scotland, and it's a blend. And what we got to do with this one was we got to pick the finish on this particular blend. So they came through and tasted us on a bunch of things and we picked the one we like most. So this is Akanagi. It's a blend of 12 to 18 year old Highland single malts. And then it was finished in Bordeaux casks. Um, I really like different red wine finishes on scotches that are not always just sherry. A lot of people do sherry. Mm -hmm. and I really like sherry, but I think it's cool when you get a Bordeaux or a Burgundy cask or something like that, just yeah. to switch it up. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, through the years working at the store, we've tried a lot of you know, red wine, cast finished scotches, and I mean, I can't think of one that I haven't. No, yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's what makes it fun when you see something that's a little different. Again, I get fruit, but I almost get like a real orange zest. Mm, I can see that. Kind of citrusy fruit on the nose. Great on the palate. It's almost got like a tannic structure to it. Like yeah. that's what 
kind of the, the red wine casks seem to you get some that, to scotch. that red wine dryness mm -hmm. um, and then that malt and sweetness and a little bit of spice comes in on the back end yeah it kind of wicks wicks the moisture off your tongue a little bit yeah and yeah. you get I, I still get the the real fruitiness but it's not as sweet it's a drier fruitiness mm -hmm. than with the sherry you know what i mean um super super easy drinking again and this one's a good value i mean like i said a blend of all 12 to 18 year old single malts and then finished for this is 59.99 on sale that's that's a pretty strong value for something with scotches that old in it so, yeah absolutely uh, absolutely so yeah all kind of bang for your buck type deals i mean i didn't mention but this one we have on sale for 26.99 right now um so all just things that you know way outperform their price point um and then I'm sure all you whiskey lovers have noticed uh, what we have lined up back here. So as part of our ongoing effort to support our community in this tough time, um, what we're doing is a silent auction for the full vertical of uh, the Pappy Van Winkle line for, uh, that's going to be benefiting Food Bank of the Rockies. And Trevor can give you some more details. Yeah, absolutely. Like Josh said, silent auction and not for each individual bottle, the entire vertical. Um, Opening bid is going to be $1,000. Everything above retail costs will be donated to the Food Bank of the Rockies. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to run through May 15th, so one month. Um, these will be on display in a case in our fine wine room, which is up on the balcony if you've never been there. Um, and that's where the box will be to place your bid. Every day, um, we'll post what the previous day's high bid was, so you can go up there and take a look and take your shot at it. Um, and then, you know, like I said, we just, we wanted to do something to support the community. It's tough times right now. Mm -hmm. And we figured, you know, this would be a good way and not, not many other chances to secure an entire vertical of the Pappy Van Winkle lineup. You know, most people it's, it's tough to get oh, yeah. one bottle, let alone, you know, the entire series. So, right. Yeah. yeah. A really, really cool opportunity and just something, you know, we felt we wanted to do to help out. So, um, really, a really just exciting opportunity and, and for a really good cause. So come on down, throw some bids in, and uh, we'll get more details to you as they come. Cheers. Cheers, guys.